we weren't expecting this. I don't think the world was expecting this. Who would have thought? So we should be swimming off the back of the boat. But we're not. No. Instead, we're at home in the Adelaide Hills. And it's cold and definitely wet out <laughs> there. The rain's coming down quite nicely. Very cold and very wet here. Yes. And this morning it was about three degrees, if that. We haven't seen <laughs> those temperatures sailing yet. No. <laughs> but we've got plenty of footage from last year. Yeah, we have. Yes, so uh, have. here's the opportunity. We can have a new season anyway. So where do we get to? Last year? Yeah. I'm not sure. We went to Venice. Flew, Flew into Venice. Venice. 52 hours travelling. All up. Well, it's bed to bed anyway. Bed to bed, yeah. Drove to Grado. Drove to Grado and got on board the boat. Then Andrea from the yard turned up and we yes. got talking. By yes. that time the supermercato was closed, so we had no yes. dinner. And, uh, yeah, we crashed and uh, had a great sleep and then got stuck into cleaning the boat. I remember that very well. For a week or so. For a week or so. Rigging. <laughs> Rigging. We spent Easter in, uh, in Grado, the first time we've spent Easter in Europe. Stunning yeah, weather. It beautiful was weather. Beautiful weather uh, in a lovely, lovely place. I just absolutely love Grado and love the people of Grado. We had some nice times. We did. And we had some Great more of that times. stuff, the heavy rain. How could we forget? <laughs> Easter, Easter weekend was, was good uh, until 7 or 8 o'clock Monday night yeah. and then it came in. Yeah. Tuesday was definitely different. But we still had a great time on board our boat and uh, made the most of the time that we had. And yeah, we got lots done. We did. It was good. Lots was good. of boat jobs. Living in Grado for three weeks, just mm. taking our time, getting organized. And then there was the big day up at the crack of dawn, final wash of the boat. The trailer came <laughs> and took us to the travel loop into yes. the water, across to the fuel dock on the other side with the tide pushing us. That's right into the marina, rigging the head saw, rigging the main oh, saw, yeah. brunch at about two in the afternoon. It was a huge day. Then you sent me up the mast to fit the wind instrument and check everything. Then down to... You mean I took you up the mast? Well, took me up the mast, sent me up the whatever. <laughs> yeah. Then we got the bimini on, finished tidying the boat. You got dinner and started preparing for the next day. And we were exhausted. Yeah. Oh, we had we had happy hour in the cockpit first time. Sundowner. Sundowner we in did. the cockpit on the water. It felt good. And then the next morning, off to Venice. We sailed to Venice. May Day. It was May Day. It was first May Day. Of May. That's right. And we had a oh, an amazing sail. It was perfect. Brilliant sail. I think we were doing about nine or ten knots. And when we got to Chotosa Island, around the back of Venice, we mm -hmm. had a welcoming party of three. We did. The marina, well, more than the marina, the Chotosa Island facility manager, yeah. our yeah. friend, Claude. Claude. And mm -hmm. one of the marina workers saying, this way, come here, we've saved a space for you. It was wonderful. It was. Yeah, and nice next, memories. It was, absolutely superb. We love Venice. And then our first day in Venice, we went out provisioning again. And then mm -hmm. we had to do a little interlude. And it was, was raining it? again. Oh, yeah. Bologna. Oh. We had to go to oh, Bologna my for goodness. business. How can I forget? <laughs> it was <laughs> bucketing down. <laughs> it was torrential rain. It was raining cats and dogs, as we say here. Heavier than what it it's doing out there at the moment. Amazing, yeah. So but we had fun. Yeah, so that's a good place to start the new season. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at where we were. I've got a surprise in line for you too. Oh, I can hardly wait. I hope you like it. Let's have a look. Okay.
We've had a lovely few days in Chertoza. However, we still have a business to run while we're away sailing in the Med. So it's back to business for a few days of work. We can't sail to where we're going, unfortunately. So... On our way to Bologna, but there are no roads in Venice, so we have to catch the Vaporetto. And we've got about a 10 minute walk to the Vaporetto. And, and then, then a 35 minute Vaporetto trip yeah. to the other end of Venice. <laughs> yes. And then a 10 minute 10 walk. 10 minute walk. Yeah. In this. And, and then there's had, a car we've hire. We've had rain, hail, terrible wind. Um, and it's freezing cold, but apart from that, everything is wonderful. <laughs> David, we've got to go. And there's our luggage. We've got to go. All wrapped up, looking like rubbish. We've got to go. But at least it'll hopefully stay dry. Okay, so here goes the big manoeuvre of getting all this down there in one piece. Life's fun. <laughs> so here we go. It's a lovely day. And so we were travelling again. This time not by sea, it would be by foot, by boat, and by car. Road trips are interesting, and we especially enjoy driving through Europe, even in the rain. Sorry? I didn't see you lock the hatch. Uh, I did lock the hatch. Watch this timber, it's very slippery in the wet. Very slippery. Be careful. Gee, it's amazing how much nicer it is under the trees. Suddenly there's no wind and only pitter patters. I'm thinking we might walk in on the gravel, David. Yeah, I found yesterday when I came to uh, throw some rubbish that it was really slippery. Still nice. We could be walking through Bridgewater on a day like this. Actually, we'd be inside with the fire going, yeah. pottering. It's a good day for pottering on board Tia now, yep. but uh, we've got business to do. So we're off to Bologna, hopefully reasonably dry. <laughs> <laughs> Life's always in <laughs> always an adventure and it's what keeps life alive. These are the times that one remembers. What was that thing? I'm just making sure we haven't walked past our bins. Here they are up here. The wheeler board's actually, uh, or wheelie, is actually slipping slide sideways on these things. Is it? It's that slippery because they're sloping downhill. Yeah, go you down want the yellow one? Yeah, I don't want to go down there. Really How about I do it? Be careful. Push down on the lever, that one. Press down hard. Beautiful. Nice bit of Italian engineering. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll continue our wet walk. So I'm thinking we go on the path because this is so slippery. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. Path safer. We don't have to slip over and strain or break something. Oh, the path's hard work with the wheelie. No, no, We've gonna, walked this path so many harder. times it's over the years. Right. It's a great exercise. place with fantastic facilities, but today's walk is somewhat different in the rain and in the wind when it starts to gust. Anyway, we'll resume this little uh, journey. So we got through the uh, little forest walk and uh, nearly to the Vaporetto station and a bit of dry. The Vaporettos are heated. That'll dry out our jeans and we can relax for 35 minutes or so. Ten stops apparently. Then we have to find a, a hire car thing. Bonjour. Okay. Oh, that's slippery. Oh, it's lovely in here. <laughs> okay. 
We're so used to travelling in the Vaporetto and bright sunshine. So this is very much the industrial end of uh, Venice. But this is a bit of fun too. Big cruise ships back there and this is where the garbage uh, boats come and empty their rubbish. And it's a very different view of Venice. This fuel dock. And uh, the next stop is ours. We're going to, uh, get off and find the car park building which has the rental car company in it somewhere. It's a bit bit nippy out here, isn't it? It's cold. It's very cold. Especially compared with everything there. It's a wet Venice at the railway station end of town. Venice in the rain and it's still absolutely beautiful. It's still interesting and it's still lovely. We just gotta work out where we're getting off. Somewhere up there there's a car park with our car in it. Well, we got off the Vaporetto at what we hoped was the right well, stop. Find this, uh, but now I had to find the building. rental car company and it's, well, somewhere at this end of Venice. Okay, so you want to go up here and have a look under the shelter? Over a glass bridge. It's funny that. Venice is a Very city of canals bridge. and bridges. Mm, this one's an unusual bridge, it's really modern. And it's particularly interesting walking over this in the rain. Okay, take the handle. Go. There's the car park building. So you're right. Found it. Oh, a bit of a squall. Busy, busy, busy. Everyone's trying to get somewhere, including us. Okay. Finally, We're here. we found it. Or up car. Excellent. There's people inside, even better. So we have our car. We're ready to go. Okay. We just wanted to report this tiny little dent. It was an interesting morning driving to well, Bologna. I just decided to stop for lunch and I just said to Karen, well, that was quite good. <laughs> what was quite good, David? It's one of those wet days, it's... But it was time for a break, and we'd had a really early start. Spring or winter, could have easily be winter, so it's 8.5 out there. So uh, we just stopped for a bite, and oh, we're under some cover here. That's the cover. It's surprising what it does, because <laughs> outside of this cover, the, the rain's really beating down on the roof of the car. All right, well, we'll... Uh, We'll have some lunch. <laughs> mm, Travelling. It's all, it's all fun. It's, it's all, all an interesting. adventure. It is. Yes. No two days are the same. No. Anyway, we're safe and we're warm. It's nice and cosy in here. Yeah, very cosy in this little panda, Fiat panda, which we would... Uh, yeah. Anyway. Mm. Uh, it's an interesting car. Anyway, well, let's have some lunch. I'm hungry. Okay, lunchtime. <laughs> First mate's very good at provisioning. We've got uh, sliced cucumber and some nice rye bread and carrot sticks and celery and crisp bread and some more sandwiches. And mandarins. Well, it was on the boat and I thought I might as well just pack it and use it. Easy lunch while we're travelling. Well, well looked after. The roadside facilities in Italy and Look in much I've of found. Europe are really good. For those that don't know, popcorn would be one of my things. You can buy a bottle of it. Or you can buy a Kermit. So moving on from the popcorn, 
they've got my favourite chocolate, well not my all time favourite, but my favourite European chocolate in a big block. Right. And I'm going to get one. Right. So before we headed off, we just decided to drop into the shopping cafe where we'd stopped for lunch, just to see what we could find. I love it. Yes. Well, you can get a dark. You can get a dark. After all, we were going to be away from the boat for a few days. Complete rice kit. Anyway, I thought these were ingredients you can see and pronounce, nut bars, so I got a couple. Right. We got bread. These noodling kits. Pasta kits. Pasta. The complete pasta kit. Pasta. Kits. Yeah, pasta. Pick up and go. Yeah. Right. And this is just at your local servo. Yeah. Somewhere between Venice and Bologna. Yes. Right. But they're all like this. You can get everything. It's always fun to find different foods and to see how they're cooked and presented. Different pastries, different cream fillings, yummo. And then there's the technology. Okay, and for those that uh, have uh, difficulty forgetting that their children are with them and leaving them behind, you can get a tippy. It's a smart pad. Oh my goodness. It goes in the bottom of their kid seat and senses their presence. So when you walk away from the car, your phone says, hey, there's someone else that's supposed to come. Tippy has reminded you to collect your kid. <laughs> Back into the wind and into well, the cold. That was an interesting experience. We've got enough time. This is all because you read something that says chocolate's good for mental health. Exactly. Well, don't mess around. Oh, Look at this. great. Just great. I was going to get in and open it. I don't think I can even get in there. Okay. Why did it so cool? People. But a hot Italian coffee fixes all of that. Just let me have my coffee or get my coffee going first. Perhaps I should get a tippy for you just in case I leave you behind. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought there was a need. There are times when you might like to leave me behind. I wouldn't have thought there was a need, but obviously there is. They had a whole stack of them there. <laughs> Just in case you forget uh, your child in the vehicle and walk away. Exactly. Tippy. Everyone needs one. Exactly. Wow. What a world. We're just saying how wet it is. It's absolutely raining cats and dogs here. We're about, Italian I don't know. Italian cats and dogs. Yeah, Italian cats and dogs. We're about 40 odd kilometres out of Bologna and it's basically rained the whole way from Venice to Bologna today. The countryside is lush and green and uh, a way back it was absolutely beautiful. It still is but it's a little more built up here. Uh, but anyway, the trees are absolutely beautiful. But the rain is relentless. So we walked into a store that our friend uh, Mattia said we should come to, but this isn't the store. It's a chain, obviously. It's called Decathlon, and it's huge. Sporting goods, every goods. Oh, it's massive. The one Mattia suggested us uh, to, to go to was uh, just out of Grado. We said we haven't got the hire car anymore. I always exercise when I'm away from home and I've been looking for a compact set of weights that I can stow away easily on the boat while we're sailing. Unlikely. Grazie. We walked right past a sign back there that uh, showed them. They took a bit of finding in this store because it was just so huge. But I have to say, the range of goods was certainly impressive. <laughs> That's what I want, but where are they? Make the most of it, David. It's too big for the boat. Well, maybe we could attach it to a halyard. 
we're going to do fitness, fitness steps. Of course, we've got the babies in here. We've got us. This place is missing. Our friend Mattia from Grado told us to go to Decathlon. He told us they have everything. And he was right. Yay! Here they are, David. I've found them. Oh, good. That's, that's more like it. We found them. That's what I want. They're much nicer than the other ones. That's what I want. You want the threes? Yeah. Two of which will make six. That's plenty for me. Either that or the twos. That's pretty heavy. We'll do this 20 times and then you'll know. I've been using bottles of wine for weights, weights for so long. <laughs> but yeah. now, no longer. Well, that's another six kilograms of weight on board, but these are absolutely perfect for me, and they'll stow on the boat without rolling around, particularly when the boat's healing. Next one down is a five. Right, we find that we found the uh, Jim Pilates stuff. Excellent. And we've got Karen's weights. Finally. Finally. So I don't have to bring any over. Thank you, Matthias. I Mattia. don't have to use bottles anymore. No. I have my own weights on board now. Thank you, Matthias. It wasn't the uh, store you were pointing us to, but it's Graz, one of them. Grazie. Decathlon Bologna. Gracias, Mia and Matia. Huge. As he said, they have Huge. everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. We've got to find it. It's somewhere down there. It's opposite the fitness and... Another fitness place. Um, fashion and fitness. You just never know where life leads. <laughs> Even to a decathlon store for Karen's weights. On the way to our hotel in Bologna. Yes. Yes. So we've found the car, and now we've also found the hotel. There it is over there. How convenient is that? Yes, there's our hotel. There's and we're weights. both looking forward to checking That's in and relaxing. The, it's been quite a day, and a oh, long actually, one at that. They might fit in here. Do you want to get your phone? Yeah. What a difference a day makes. 24 little hours Well, we're on the road again this morning to Reggio Emilia the home of Parmigiano Reggiano Parmesan cheese But we're not going for the cheese It's back to business for us to visit our friends and business colleagues at Aquatronica They're very special people and they have great Italian products we always receive a really warm welcome. Nice the company have just moved into larger premises since our last visit. Some new team members to meet and some new products to see. Last time, yes, yes. Yes. Another one because we made already 15 installation. Eva. Uh -huh. Then I show you the app. Parameter. One sensor. Oh, wow. Multi parameter. Okay. Then okay. I show you. Uh, multi parameter. It's just one. Oh, okay. This is a really high tech company, and they can produce just about anything they set their collective minds to. Federica has a lovely way of describing her engineer teammates. She tells us they have beautiful minds. A lovely description, Fetty. 
After an interesting morning, a lovely Italian lunch, and some very warm goodbyes, we're back on the road again to Bologna. The wild weather the day before, Fetty was telling us, actually brought snow, and quite a lot of it apparently, to Bologna and the surrounding district. Anyway, they were telling us um, this morning, or today, that yesterday in all the bad weather that we had, in the mountains just over there, they had 70 centimetres of snow, which is so unseasonal for Italy in this part of the woods. I hope you can see it up there. So quite a lot of snow. And uh, David is at the wheel, driving back from uh, yeah, it. what was a lovely here. day. We might see it here. Yeah. So there's a bit more snow up there, not as much as uh, was back there. Sprinkling there. Federica was telling us that um, all of the trees in the mountains, of course, had all their new spring leaves, their spring growth, and now all the leaves on the trees have all been frozen because of the unexpected snowfall. What a shame. place called Media World just across from our hotel in Bologna. For those that uh, wonder why they pay so much for their uh, European appliances, keep wondering. 259 euro for a Bosch. It's about uh, $380. Quick across from our, our hotel, there was not only Decathlon but many other stores including so, Media World. David had to make a detour and just have a look. Uh, 411 Australian dollars. It's always interesting to compare prices though. They're about double that in Australia. Fantastic picture. That's a Sony Bravia 75 inch OLED, note OLED, and it's uh, 2000 euro. The TVs, the media, definitely caught his eye. Here they've got 24% GST in our language. That's three thousand one hundred and seventy-five dollars. So but then again, Harry. maybe it was, was only the lips. To uh, Harry, uh, one of our staff back home, uh, about mm, two months ago, I said to Harry, "You wait. When everyone's got their four K TVs, I say, oh, 'Oh, you've only got four K. Well, you need the new eight K. Well, it's happening already.'" <laughs> we slept well that night. In the morning, it was off to the trade show that we'd been invited to visit. Zumark, it's the number one trade show for that sector of the industry in Italy. Lots of things to see, many people to talk to. It's always interesting. And then it was time to go home. Well, back to our boat anyway. Lovely roses up there. But that's another story. We hope you'll join us next time.
you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope you'll like our Facebook page. And if you'd like to be a part of our production, drop into our Patreon page. The links are all below. If you enjoyed this video, we really hope you'll give us a thumbs up. We've got a lot of adventures coming up soon when we set sail again. But it's bye for now.